Good afternoon. I'm Jane Kirschling, and I'm the Dean and Professor at the University of Maryland School of Nursing, and also wear the hat as the Director of Interprofessional Education. And I'm here today on behalf of the American Association of Colleges of Nursing. As my colleagues have stated, our goal is that American veterans have the best possible care when they need it. The Veterans Health Administration wanted to address shortages and demand. There are many ways to approach this. The one they've landed on is evidence-based. This proposal would allow veterans direct, direct access to APRN services. Leading authorities such as the National Governors Association, the Institute of Medicine, and the Federal Trade Commission recognize that barriers to practice for APRNs impede health care access and quality. What we are advocating is that policy aligns with evidence. Academic nursing recognizes that in order to care for our servicemen and women who have given so much of themselves to our country, we must work with our local VA facilities and communities to serve their needs. This is a mission that we do not take lightly. In our graduate nursing programs, there are over 70,000 APRN students. These are 70,000 future nurse practitioners, certified registered nurse anesthetists, certified nurse midwives, and clinical nurse specialists. We know that, education, that the education we provide impacts the care that your mother, your father, sister, brother, and every veteran receive. It is our duty as educators to constantly reinforce the bigger picture. We entered this profession to improve health. And to that, we must build an education program that allows for experiences in all practice settings. This is why schools of nursing partner with and provide clinical rotations in VA facilities. Our graduates must understand the unique needs of the veteran population. At the University of Maryland School of Nursing, our nursing students who receive clinical training are at the Baltimore VA Medical Center, and they share that it's a tremendous opportunity to learn. For example, Valerie Hampton graduated in May from our master's second degree clinical nurse leader program. A Mississippi native, she did her final semester practicum with the Baltimore VA Medical Center, and she's now applying for positions to work as a nurse at a VA hospital. Her commitment to work with veterans who suffer from cardiovascular disease is grounded by her own family's health history and the richness of her practicum experience. What will the impact of the VHA's ultimate ruling on changes to the nursing handbook be? One scenario is that veterans will have better access to care. The other, it is likely that veterans will continue to experience delays and weakened continuity of care. The reality is that only time will tell what the outcome will be. But we stand here as advocates promoting the policy that has been reviewed and promoted internally and is supported by evidence externally. Thank you, and I do now welcome back Dr. Quintana to the microphone. <coughs> 